everybody, this is Jason Goodson from Guardian of Goodies. This is day 22 of the 30 day vlog challenge. And I'm here with the twins. Hello, twins. Hi. Today, the twins have a, you have a ceremony today, huh? Uh huh. Award ceremony. What are we really doing on the last two days of school? Oh, um, well, they're half days. And Let's talk about what we're really doing now. What are we really doing on the last two days of school? Like at school? Mm hmm. Well, tomorrow we're doing a big field day. Field day? We have um, this water kind of. We have this big water slide and stuff. We have a concession stand and bouncy houses. So, what are we doing? Like, are we doing anything? Are we finished with learning? Yes. Uh, yeah. Hopefully. Maybe, hopefully. We're making catapults and roller coasters. Oh, nice. Okay. We're going from what grade to what grade? What are we finishing up here? Fourth grade. Fourth grade going into the fifth grade. All right. Very good. Well, hopefully I'll get to see you guys at the award ceremony today. We'll see. Let me see if I can make that. It's been a great day. It's at the end of school year. We have two half days left. And I was able to get some of the award ceremony for my kids today. And just a simple video today to brag about my kids overall. And one of the things I can brag about with my kids is the fact that my kids, beginning with Zoe, have always been academic minded. And I've always taken that part of their school seriously. And there are, of course, multiple people, you know, who have talked about you know, the way our kids have acted in school and stuff like that, and it's, they haven't been a discipline problem, it's been great. So, but, you know, when I talk about Zoe, I think about her ability to reason and think and apply. Always been a great reader. Always has enjoyed books. Lucy, our 
eighth grader about to be a freshman is a young lady who has worked hard at her school and has earned the grades that she has made and she's always been a great kid as well and student very talented we talked about her on the video when it came to her artistry and her ability to paint to draw to uh, take pictures things like that she's really really talented and expresses a lot of her educational stuff there and does a really good job iris will be on stage she is not afraid to get in front and play an instrument sing a song give a speech you know she's she's that kid that is always uh, has enjoyed a little bit of the behind the scenes spotlight but will not uh, you know not afraid to get out in front of you and do stuff either and then we get to the twins and today's ceremony for them was the fact that the, the twins have worked really hard you know received all A's this year and have always been academic minded both are sports minded and both are driven and I think they drive each other a little bit and they compete with each other a little bit and that brings out a healthy relationship and that makes me real happy um, so I look forward to seeing what God has for them in the future because I know that they're all are in are in his hands and all have the capability to be successful in whatever they do and I'm, I'm excited to see how God is going to bless them in that I was watching a video yesterday that Joel Salatin did, and I know a lot of people talk about Joel Salatin and his farm and his setup, but uh, the specific meeting that he was leading, it was about a 55 minute video, and I'll try to leave a link to it if uh, YouTube will let me, but at least a link to the video itself here. Um, what the video was about was about involving the kids in the homestead in that type of life and being a father he specifically pointed out fathers and I'm so glad that he did that because that message needs to be reinstated again and um, and yeah I, I can't regurgitate exactly what he said word for word but what I can do is give you a brief explanation of what was said and what was said was basically dads need to let their kids be creative. Give them tools, give them things that they can use in their hands, give them wood scraps, let them go out and build and learn. But don't berate the kid in the midst of the process. And if he messes something up, show him what he did wrong and how to correct it therefore he's not afraid to go out and make mistakes but he can know how to correct it if he needs to finish it and I think about my relationship with my dad I think about the joy I had hanging out with him growing up and you know I missed a lot of that time when I got married and moved off and I wish I would have spent a little more time with him later on in life just simply because um, you know if I'd have known that the days were few uh, I would have made a better effort to to be around more, I think. But there was, you know, me trying to take care of kids and trying to make money and trying to do the things I needed to do to take care of my family. It was just hard. Um, but I do see the value of having, you know, what the future of homesteading for us looks like and what the future for my family. And I'm not saying my son has to do these things. I'm not going to make him, but... You know, if he has the option to want to continue on what we're going to start uh, with this homestead, then I want him to have that option and say, this is what I want to do in my life and um, and make it available to him for that or to, my, or to my daughters or to any one of my kids for that matter. Uh, but I just want to be a dad that helps involve them in that process. And I'm really
really thankful because I know God has big plans. And I know He has big plans in the future for us. So we know that He will help us. And I know that He is going to direct us in everything that we do. So thanks for joining me today. Thanks for being a part of this. Thanks for continuing to follow the vlog. Thanks for all the new subscribers that have jumped in and joined. And, um, just keep sharing, keep submitting, keep walking through me with this. And uh, uh, I just really have enjoyed this whole process and what God is doing through it. So we'll see you next time on Gardening with Goody.